Peace and love, Reflections. I'm back with another motherfucking video. Some more knowledge to give you. Yo, damn. This life is going by so fast. Every day is just, I'm progressing so fucking much. It's crazy. It's crazy how much you grow. In the, amount, in the amount of time you grow. And it's just like, it feels like, it feels like five seconds went by. <laughs> Anyways, my hair, my hair is going fucking like so much right now. I got it in this shit. Keep it out of my face. Let the sun hit my face. Let the sun hit the top of my head. <clears throat> also, it's just annoying having hair always in my face. And I feel like when I put it like this, it balances my masculine and feminine energy. Also, dreads are growing in my fucking hair. <laughs> Out of nowhere, dreads just started growing. It's all fuzzy and like fucking hard. I don't know. It's pretty fun. I feel very, very... This is new to me. I've never, I've always been way too self-conscious to grow out my hair. This is the first time I've ever done this in my life. 17 whole fucking years of my life and I have not expressed this piece of myself. It's time to stop the oppression. It's time to stop the suppression. It's bullshit. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is along those lines. I wanted to express how, how you can heal yourself. How you can truly get out of these mental habits and habitual cycles that you live in. All you have to do to heal yourself fully is you've... All you have to do is just accept yourself and love yourself and forgive yourself. Nowadays, so many people just carry around so much past pain and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't working through it. They're just dwelling in it. They're just looking at it and then getting def feeling defeat because they don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to fucking get through it. They don't know how to learn from it. They don't know what I have to learn from it. <sighs> First thing you gotta understand is that everything in existence, everything in existence happens for a reason. Everything that you feel, taste, hear, smell, see, it's all happening. <sighs> it's all happening to show you something. Consciousness is ex it's creating itself in, in many different forms so it can show you something and express itself, express something to, to the body. We're like, we have like, our mind is a radio and we're just tapping into different frequencies of consciousness. See, I can, I can, when you, when you, when you use the radio, you go to 103.3, the vibe. What is it? It's hip hop. And then you go to 92.9 for the fucking... People in SB, people in SB will know. <laughs> 92.9, it's like a fucking rock station. We have different stations that we tap into. We have different frequencies of music that we tap into. And what is life but music? Life is, life is just one big song. Life is just one huge whole song. <clears throat> Another thing, you must understand that Everything in existence is, is I. I am everything in existence. You, I. There's no separation between you and I. We might appear to be different because I can't control and manipulate your body the way that I can. I'm moving my hands right now. I, I'm moving my hands right now, but I can't. It seems to be that I can't move your hands like this because our brains are not physically connected. But metaphysically, they are connected as fuck. And we are all... We are all working through this one web of consciousness called the universe and the universe take apart the word universe with it with the latin roots because english language stems from latin roots so what does uni mean uni means one what does verse mean verse means song one song it's just one song happening through time one big happening it's just one whole fucking existence <laughs> So, and through that, you got to know, you got to understand how to love yourself. Through, through that, you got to understand to see that in every situation. I can look at something, I can look at me feeling pain because something hit me or in the, in the physical world, like I get a fucking cut or something and I can get mad or I can understand it as something that I can learn from and be more conscious of when I'm fucking walking and I can love myself because pain is the best teacher. Pain is hands down the best fucking teacher for you. There's no other teacher that, that, that 
forces you to learn better than pain. Like a child, a child will touch a flame and then it'll learn that the flame fucking hurts, the flame burns them. So they won't want to touch the flame anymore. They know now, they know that the flame is gonna hurt them if they touch it. <sighs> okay. Now, back to the fact that we need to forgive ourselves and heal or forgive ourselves and accept ourselves to heal ourselves let alone even loving ourselves we need to we need to forgive ourselves what's what's happening okay <laughs> weird ass thing my dog did i love myself <laughs> oh boy okay so to heal yourself you must accept yourself and forgive yourself. You cannot grow if you do not forgive yourself. You cannot grow out of your karmic cycles, out of your suffer if you do not forgive yourself. You will not grow from your past if you do not forgive yourself and accept yourself. This has been very prevalent in my life because I'll like do some shit, I'll waste time, I'll fucking, I'll get caught up in weird spirits that come, up, come along my path and it's just like, fuck, fuck. I can either feel like, fuck, and then dwell in it, or I can be like, I, I understand it. I, I just had to go through that to learn something from it. I learned what not to do now. I learned how to get through that and persist through the lows that come. Because there's, there's, life is not just you, you getting high. You getting, you getting high as in you living in bliss. You living as high as you can. There's lows. There's lows and highs. There's a balance of lows and highs. And most motherfuckers out here are just fluctuating between lows and highs. Always chasing for the highs, but still living in the lows. They ain't know how to live in the high. For me, personally, I choose to live in the highs. I choose to live in bliss. I choose to live in, in love. I choose to live out of love. I see everything with love. I see the plant and I just feel myself in that body and I just, I love myself because I can, that, that's helping me. That's literally, that's the trees are literally, trees and plants are literally making up my body to sustain in this earth realm. So I can put myself in that position and see what it would be like to be a plant. I'd see what it would be like to receive the energy that I emanate from this body to that body. And then I just acknowledge and I'm grateful for the connection between the between every single body because this there's just one whole body there's this one whole body called the universe but there's many different frequencies of that one body just like your skin pigment your your the color of your skin it manifests through the level of melanin that your being has your body this physical body and what is the mind but the body, what is what is different between the mind and the body there's no fucking difference between the mind and the body the mind the mind is a the mind is the projector for the body. The body is literally just a vehicle for the mind. See, I'm controlling my hand right now, but I could not do this without my fucking mind. I would not be, I would be non-existent without the mind because the mind is everything. Everything is the mind. Everything is mental. Everything is thought. Everything happens because of thought. Okay. <laughs> now, to heal yourself from things that you've fucked yourself over, with in the past, things that you've come from, like your addictions, your self-hatred, anything, anything, anything like that. You need to let the fuck go. You need to let that the fuck go. Don't hold on to that. Don't let yourself fall victim to that and be like, oh, my, my perspective is all fucked up because of what I've been through. Oh, look at my life. Pity me. Poor me. No, fuck that shit. Don't be, don't be submissive in that sense. Don't, don't just be defeated by what's happening right now. You can get through what's happening right now. You can, if you got through the lowest lows of your life, what the fuck, what, why, why are you complaining about now? Now you have it so much better. If, if you've gotten already through the lowest low of your life and you see it from a different perspective, change is happening. Be grateful that you're not even there. Be grateful and understand that you can manipulate this reality however you want. Your perspective is literally everything. Your mentality is literally everything in your life. Everything that happens, every experience, your mentality shapes every experience. Your mentality shapes every taste that you have. Your mentality shapes every single fucking smell that you have, every sight that you get, every vision that you have within your, within your little realm. <sighs> now, 
If you want to heal your mentality, all you have to do is forgive yourself and accept yourself. Repeat this. I love myself. I accept myself. I forgive myself. I thank myself. I love myself. I accept myself. I forgive myself. I thank myself. I do that so much throughout the day. I, I just constantly fucking repeat that so it just gets in my mind. You know how... You know how... When, when, you, when you go to school, when you're going to grade school or whatever the fuck school you go to, you wake up at 8 a.m., which is the perfect, you wake up to go to school, and school starts at 8 a.m., but you wake up earlier, so your, your mind is fresh, your mind is fresh right there, so you, they have the perfect time and the perfect opportunity to drill things in your mind through repetition. Your mind is so vulnerable in the morning. What you do in the first five minutes of your day, the first 30 hour, 30 minutes to an hour of your day is gonna manipulate the rest of your day. It's gonna form the rest of your day for you. So if you're waking up and then going to fucking school, they are manipulating the shit out of you with all this information and trying to program your brain with all this information that has nearly nothing to do with your life and how to grow through your life. They're just trying to get you to go through this system that they've created. But anyways, that's, that's a whole nother fucking, I'm not gonna get into that. But my point is, if you fucking wake up in the morning and you program yourself with, I love myself, I accept myself, I love myself, I accept myself, I love myself, I accept myself, you will fucking reap so many benefits. You will, oh my God, things, things are going to change for you. Things are going to fucking completely be so much better. You will live in bliss. Trust me, you will live in bliss. I do this every single fucking day of my life and there's not a moment in my life where I can... Well, there are moments where I hit lows, but there, there isn't a moment in my life where I don't understand. Where I don't understand what's happening, because if I don't understand what's happening, then that means I've slipped into my lower, lower self thinking patterns. And then just by me being there, because I've conditioned myself so much to be in my higher self, I'm just like, what the fuck? No, get out of this. What the fuck? Stop. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop complaining about your life. Stop complaining about your bullshit. It's, it's unnecessary. You, you'll just find that it's unnecessary to complain. You'll find that it's unnecessary to even, like, think, think that things are not possible. Think that you are powerless. Think that you are a victim. When you, when you embody this mindset of self-love, when you embody this mindset of forgiving yourself and accepting yourself constantly and allowing yourself to express what you need, you will always have that. You will always be there. You will always think that way you will fucking prosper in that in that way <clears throat> so how do you accept yourself there are many different ways and many different things that you need to do to fully accept yourself first of all first of all your body your body give love to your body we don't give any love to our bodies especially when we're in our lower self when we are this is this is for the this is for the pieces of myself pieces of myself that are in the lower self right now not all of the selves because i know most of the motherfuckers watching this aren't completely in their lower selves because they're trying to get higher <laughs> but for those that are in their lower self take pay attention to your body pay attention to how you treat your body how you treat your body is a reflection of how you treat your own mind and how you think and how you treat your soul <clears throat> So pay attention to what the fuck you put in your body. Pay attention to how you view your body. If you're like constantly picking at your skin, just like, uh, acne, uh, 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 I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. It makes me look bad. I wonder what people are thinking. You're not loving yourself. You're not fucking accepting yourself. That's where you can start. That's, that's, an, that's one way. That's one way that you can start. Look at how you treat your body and then reflect on that and see how you can fix it. If you're trying to heal yourself, see how you can fix it. See how you can do it differently. See, there's a difference between fucking personal hygiene and just being OCD and caring way too much about what people think. Like, personal hygiene is probably a very important thing for, for us in, in this dirty world <clears throat> that we live in. This, this place is not very clean, so you gotta fucking clean yourself. But don't fucking, don't be so fucking, like... Ugh, I look disgusting. I need to put makeup on. Why are you putting makeup on? Why? What do you have to make up for? What do you? Why? Why? Question yourself. Plus, all the fucking shit in the makeup stuff that people put on is... I mean, unless if it's organic and natural and made from fucking plants. It's all just chemicals that are killing you. Chemicals that are imbalancing your hormones and chemicals that are not serving you in the right way. You gotta pay attention to what, what is 
what is serving you best and what feels best. What feels best and what serves best, there's always, there's always that fine line between like Skittles. Skittles taste good as fuck to a little kid, but Skittles are not good for a little kid. You gotta pay attention to what's good to you and what's good for you. It might taste good, but it, <laughs> your body, body's not gonna fucking like that shit. Your body's gonna fucking make you feel like shit. Your body's gonna get sick more. Your body's gonna be weak. And you gotta pay attention to what the fuck you put on your body to even be able to love yourself because loving yourself starts with the body. Loving yourself starts with the mind and the thoughts that you put in your body and you allow yourself to project and allow yourself to think. Now you control, you gotta understand as well, you control all of this. You control everything. Everything that happens to you, you control it. You make it happen. You manifest every single fucking thing that happens in this existence. <sighs> Because you are everything. You are every single thing in this existence. Therefore, and you're, you're, you're the observer of your own little reality. So as the observer, you, the way you're thinking is attracting certain things to you. I'm, I could think negatively and attract a bunch of fucked up shit to myself. I could think very low and think very negatively and think very painfully and attract a bunch of pain to myself. Or I could think out of love. I could see love. I could attract so much love. I could attract all the spirits of love and all the energy that I need in order to be love and in order to function with love. Now you see, when I say you control everything, I don't mean, I don't mean that right now you control everything, meaning that you could fucking do everything that you want, because nah, you got limits in your mind that you gotta get through before you do that. Everything that you want is... You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be tested before you're able to do that. Because that's a lot of power. And power comes with responsibility. You must be responsible with your power. You must be able to be worthy for that power. You must be able to tap into that power. But most 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 of us in our lower selves, we ain't, we ain't even know about the motherfucking power. Don't focus on that shit. Focus on your own power. Hone your willpower. Hone your own... <sighs> Your own little fire and build it. Build the fucking flame. Love yourself and accept yourself completely in every fucking way. In every way. When I say I love myself and I accept myself, I mean I love myself in this form fully. I love my hair. I love my eyes. I love my face. I love my fucking legs. I love my toes. I'm so grateful that I have toes. What the fuck? Some motherfuckers, I saw, another, I saw a motherfucker yesterday without a leg and I just felt so much gratefulness. I was just sending him so much love and like, wow. What the fuck? That guy doesn't even have a leg. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> and just like, when I, when I say that, I, I, when I say I love myself and I accept myself, I, I accept myself, my body, my, this, this thing, this projection of myself. And then I branch out and take out of, out of this little internal reality and look out and I just feel myself in every single form like right there that plant right there I can feel myself in that form I can feel myself growing all the roots growing I can feel how it would feel to blossom up like that and I take that and love myself I love myself I put myself in every single position and I just spread all the love everywhere and understand that I am everything once you start to understand that you will life will get so easy You'll, it'll it'll get so easy to, to manipulate in the way that you want it to work it's so, such a blessing to be able to manifest whatever you want. And trust me, you might, you will have doubt in your head saying you can't do that. You will have doubt in your head saying that it's, no, you can't, you can't bring out and bring out stuff in your life that you want. Your, your life just happens. Everything just happens. Everything's just like, <clears throat> everything's a coincidence. Everything's a coincidence. No, shit ain't coincidental. Shit is happening because you're manifesting it. <laughs> <clears throat> now I want the goal of this video is to get you to get in this mindset of repeating shit to yourself. Get it find something about yourself. Find something about yourself that you don't like, that you subconsciously just don't like and you've been programmed to not like and then question it. Like me, I when I was a fucking kid, I hated my acne. I hated this shit. I was so angry and just like Depressed, oh, I'm depressed because I have acne. I'm, oh, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> and how I grew out of that is I just like question, like, what the fuck? Why, why would I? Why do I care about this? What is what is making this happen? Like, why am I getting this much acne? And then I 
paid attention to what the fuck was actually happening. I was putting so much shit food in my body. Of course, my body's going to send me signals to stop putting shit food in it. Because that's just the mechanism of the body. <laughs> and then just question. Just question it. Just question what you're doing, why you're doing it, and you'll be fine. You'll understand it if you're open enough to receive the answers from the question as well. Love myself, accept myself. I love myself, accept myself. <laughs> and just repeat, repeat, repeat. Repetitiveness is how you drain shit into your subconscious mind. Or drill shit into your subconscious mind. That's how your mind works. Your mind, if you're, you need practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So if you repetitively practice this self-love and saying, I love myself, I love myself. And I understand myself, I understand myself, I forgive myself, I accept myself, I thank myself, I'm grateful for everything that I feel because I learned from it. If you constantly say these things, it'll get down, deep down in your subconscious mind and you'll start fucking living it. You'll start seeing everything with love. You gotta remember, these things don't, these things are not how you see. These things are just projectors for the reality. How you see begins with the heart. How you see begins with how pure your heart is. If you see everything with love or if you see everything with anger and uh, frustration or, and, and like pain. If you're seeing everything with pain or fear. <clears throat> these are not truly our eyes. These are just, these are just little spectacles. Just little optical, optical lenses that allow us to perceive this reality and receive the energy. Ah, this is, these are just receptors for the energy in this physical reality. How you truly see is the heart. You must cleanse your heart. You must cleanse your heart with love. And cleanse your heart to heal yourself. And forgive yourself. And accept yourself. I love myself. I accept myself. I love myself. I accept myself. And fucking smile. Smiling is literally the best, best feeling you can ever, <laughs> ever feel with love. Because it's just, there's that, that brings out so much good-hearted spirit that just like bubbles up inside of you and you just want to fucking laugh allow yourself to smile allow yourself to express love and understand yourself okay peace and love reflections i'm grateful that you guys took the time to fucking watch this shit let me know if this helped you let me know if what you need to work on i can make videos specifically for things that you guys need to work on mm, i ain't got anything else to say i'm gonna get on with my day much love and peace I stay high, I love myself, I accept myself, I forgive myself, and I thank myself.